how it goes is that if you get hit by like Kazuya's jank and everything, you want to DI based on positioning. Yes. Not by exactly. like all oh, in or out. DI out all the time. Yeah. Kazuya can still technically combo you if you DI out. Yep. Or technically combo you if you DI in. Yep. But Pikachu and Lef I haven't seen this matchup in a minute. You gotta make it difficult for them. That's a big thing with these characters yeah. that have these long combos. I mean, Pikachu included, right? You right. have to make it difficult for the Pikachu to follow you because the route can theoretically always be true if Pikachu follows the DI properly, yeah. but they have to follow the DI properly to begin with, right? Yeah, long story short, positioning choice. really matters in this game, especially on a high level. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty much said in there. And now, in this matchup, Vivi's actually very good against Pikachu with Lucario. I don't think you will ever see Hero come out, Terry. You, you, you're going to see straight Lucario if it's just Pikachu. Because I used to sleep on this matchup, too, when I first saw this when the game got launched. And I was like, all right, Pikachu's good. Pikachu could do Pikachu things. No, they can't. They can't do Pikachu things. Like, Vivi, he, he, like, they stay very grounded consistently and abuse Aura Sphere to make Pikachu stay on their toes. Yeah, But the absolutely. thing that Pikachu has to be careful in this matchup is that they can't spam Ticho like every other matchup that they can comfortably do. Because Lucario's counter is so good that it don't matter how far he is, it will come to you. Yep. And at this stage especially, good awareness from Leo. You know, like Loki hearing me out like, nah, I got you right now. <laughs> Unfortunate, but yeah, the, but there that. is downsides to that counter though. Like if you miss the counter, you get hard punished like better than every other counter. And good recognition that Leo kept shielding way too much, and it's gonna abuse that mechanic from Lucario. They yeah, have to be very careful for that command grab. That side B snatches stops with full rage. Like that shield there from Leo, not over committing to a movement option. Recognizing I'm in the corner with Aura Sphere. Let's right. slow it down a little bit. Like BB, BB is so good on conditioning his opponents to shield at the corner a lot of times. Yes. And it's like, all right, you know, I know that you know that I have power. You have Ultimate's mechanic, Lucario's mechanic, Ooh. and the Rage mechanic hitting you at the same time. So Vivi knows and can abuse that knowledge to a lot of players that are very unfamiliar in the Lucario matchup. So that's pretty much what, it, what we just witnessed on that first stock right here. Is Leo got to come back with a Pikachu comp? Nah, runs into the Aura Sphere, but still can press buttons in his face. Yeah, some of the uh, close-up interactions can be a little bit difficult for Lucario, just not having buttons that hit in that same space that Pikachu. I mean, that back air just covering such a nice range, and it repeats itself, right? Yeah. It's going to be difficult for Lucario to deal with that if he doesn't already have a button out. That being oh, said, it is short range, and one good thing Ooh. we see BB doing is playing right outside of Leo's rip. bubble and just letting Leo pick the first move. Four smash, too good. Yeah, very good stuff there. Once again, yeah, letting Leo pick the first move. Just Leo going for grab a little bit too early. That four hop going to end up dealing with it. 36% of extra credit. Now that down Ooh. tilt calling out the landing. Another interaction. 55%. Good reset from VV. Retreating all the way to the other Ooh, corner. But what an air dodge read from Good Leo. <laughs> what? No, you hate to oh, see it. Up. Slowly, and Leo, Leo, that's that face. Like I had it, but I did it at the same time. Yeah. Leo had a. He was. Leo's building up a little bit of momentum right there. No, like he was catching on to the jump habits that Vivi kept doing, feeling themselves moving with the Beaver versus. And yeah. then at that last sequence, the the intensity got so real that he actually edge guarded Vivi correctly. Yes. But then messed up because. I feel like they just didn't see that coming. It that the seemed... trade happened and then they they bounced off the of FD. And the buffer system happened to them too. Because yeah. they kind of saw that they was going to tech, but mistimed the tech. And just a little buffer. bit. Got the buffer there. And that's yep. the si situations like that is like so damaging in your head. It's like, damn, like I actually had it. I was coming back. But the real the real people is gonna is not gonna let hey, it happen. How come you didn't them. mirror this button yet? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. oh there so it is. Sorry, guys. Uh, we have the up tilt Nairs coming out. Very good stuff from Leo, but VV just finding his way out of those routes once again. Oh, Quick Attack actually not connecting there. I'm a little surprised it was the cross up, but Leo making good use of it. Ooh, gets the pop-up hit of that Nair there instead of getting the falling hit. So once again, Vivi going to escape these combos. 
Just a lot of spots that are looking a little difficult could be mentally damaging, but you just have to play things interaction by interaction, especially in a matchup like this. Just right, what I'm, uh, right now, what I'm, oh, oh my god, I noticed that confirm from yeah, BB. A classic. Late up till up air. Oh, definitely miss. You will never see a Pikachu intentionally do that unless it was the foul. Wow. They uh, has to be careful with these immediate quick attacks out of route. It can be decent, but it takes a while for that button to start up. Wow, that was some, some interesting stuff. Actually, that was broke the T-Jolt right? by bouncing off the wall. Yeah, that was. Or is Fear VB now just sitting right outside of Leo's range and again, just running letting Leo move first? So much momentum right now, and a potential three star coming in play. Yeah. Leo's gonna have to. Turn off his inner MK Leo and actually do something about it. There we go. Good edge guard right there. Not gonna let it be to get a free three star. But this combo is gonna be okay. Never mind. I was capping. Lucario's combo is gonna build up at some point though. That you just, you're not gonna. It's one of those scenarios uh, that Lucario will combo you, but it looks like it won't do nothing. But the knockback is what's really gonna get you in the long run. Yeah. I feel like it's not the percentages that you're worrying about too much. It's the knockback. Yeah. That's gonna exactly. cost you. I mean, even the percentages get scary too, but just the fact that you get tapped by a back right. air at like 40% <laughs> and it's dead, over for you dead in the corner. Aura. Yeah. And we haven't even seen a rage one either. Yeah. We're just seeing like Lucario jank happen to them. Like, imagine Lucario's aura yeah, and fun. rage at the same time. You'd be very, very good with that Ooh. base Lucario. That's how you know Lucario player is actually good, just that low percent Lucario, because, I mean, the routes are pretty good and everything, but it's so hard for that character to actually kill you um, I feel without like they have rage. A, yeah. I feel like they have a very different combo game when it comes to Lucario having aura and Lucario not having aura at all. Yeah. Like, I like how confident, crazy. like, BB moves when he has actual aura. Doesn't really commit too hard. But then, like, when you have no aura at all, the low percent combos, you see, like, a lot of, like, triple aerial combos. And, oh, wow, Pikachu being so short, barely getting hit by the up tilt. Trying to stay a little bit more grounded. But, oh, oh very good yeah. catch there, yeah. It was, and it was a re grab anyway, so there was almost no other option that they could have done. Yeah. BB just doing a very good job, once again, playing right outside of Leo's range, just letting Leo press the first button, then punishing it a lot of the time, or, you know, getting those landing buttons in. What I also noticed that BB does in his matchup that makes it look so good is that it's, he's not just B reversing just for the heck of it. It's just... VV will be reversed along with Pikachu's movement with Quick Attack. There was a scenario that he tried, well, it's too late now, but <laughs> he tried, like, VV tried calling out the Quick Attack and moved and be reversed at the same time, trying to catch the landing. Yes. So that way, like, Leo wasn't too comfortable on moving around the stage like crazy, and it was actually Vivi doing more of the moving yeah. and controlling the pace of the actual game itself. Yeah, exactly. And it seems like, it can seem like a character like Pikachu is controlling the pace of the game just by nature of how fast they are and how how powerful of a tool Thunder Jolt is. But if you're dealing with Thunder Jolt in the right ways, and it can be a little bit easier for Lucario to deal with Thunder Jolt than most characters because yeah. you have the counter, you have Aura Sphere once Lucario reaches a certain percent, or at the very least, a certain charge. Right. Um, you know, you have all these tools that are pretty good for dealing with it, but even anyone in the cast can just hit T-Jolt and consume that space right in front of them. I feel like it's a, it a very slept-on matchup for sure. Yes. Like, I want to see e play, like, a very... Like, Armadillo or something like that. Yeah. Like, I want to see something similar. Like, maybe Sue from Japan. Like, I want to see how Isam would do that matchup in the future, maybe. But the way how Vivi plays that matchup in New York, he makes that matchup look yeah, very, very doable he for Lucario, it. for sure. Absolutely. Like, his it. usage of counters, his B-reversing aura charge, yeah. and the, the combos that he exactly needed to kill Pikachu quickly, yeah. um, faster than the other way around. Like, we saw a scenario that Lucario just up to up air. Yep, true. exactly. Immediately Perfectly true recognized. and died under 80. Yep. That's some scary stuff. And, I mean, to have that recognition, like, all right, I have this much aura. I mean, I imagine that would work at higher aura, at lower yeah, percent like with as well. The rest but of just the recognizing in full, like, the, you're the within the window. Mm -hmm. I'm within the window. We're going for it right now. Just it's just the fact that, that he can, like, stuff. Lucario can do that. 